Hi Aquarius, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Of course, this is your general reading starting today on the 24th of July and I am doing it a bit differently. It's not all together all that different, but the basis of the energy is different is what I feel. Um, over the past couple of weeks, I feel like it's been shifting and changing a bit how I'm wanting to, pro pro to portray, I don't know if you say that, present these messages like where am I of the biggest use for you? Um, and at some point, and maybe that's also even going to happen, that I'm starting to create like the second channel where it's more focused on the awakening that is go going on right now and has been going on through this lifetime. Um, but for right now, I mean, incorporating that as a basis, just like I've, and if you've watched me before, you know that I've incorporated the, the frequency of the number into like as a basis for the reading. And I'm still going to use that because I think there's so much fun to play with around that. But to sort of have the basis of the awakening, your awakened path. I think there's so many people that are just starting to come to terms with who they are, awakened to their own true potential, understanding this path more and more clearly. And some people just need more guidance. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a general reading or if it's like a love reading, whether I talk about finances or what seems to be trivial or a very 3D, at the basis of that, we have the awakening as a message underneath it. And it's sort of like how life works. It's sort of like, okay, so underneath it, we have law of gravity. Whatever we're doing like up here, we still have law of gravity and we still have law of attraction. Then the rest is just sort of fillers, if that makes sense. So it's like the path of awakening and then we have fillers. So that's what we're doing. And then I'm keeping this silent part in at the very end, not with 14 cards, but with three. So if you didn't uh, get a chance to see that, maybe you wanna uh, go back and see your love reading from last week, um, where I ended the reading with 14 cards in silence and sort of had that as a little bridge into the extended or a bridge to just sort of do whatever you want with. Uh, it was very appreciate, appreciated, so I'm going to keep it in, <clears throat> but with three cards. And I know I, I give you a lot of information. It's not your typical tarot reading. Uh, I know I can be a bit everywhere and, and anywhere at any given moment um, because sometimes there's a lot of information coming through. And so it's really nice to have that silent moment where you sort of can just integrate everything that's been said, both verbally and non-verbally, and sort of almost have a clean slate and then go into the extended, if that makes any sense. So we're starting with these beautiful Angel Answers by Doreen Virtue for Aquarius. General, general, like what's going on for you? Do we want that? No, we don't want that. We want that. And one more. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to do the shuffle because they want a very specific card. And then please just fast forward. Instead of giving me a comment that it takes too long to shuffle. There we go. So give me a moment. I just want to fill in what's going on here. See somebody walking down the aisle as we speak or pl maybe planning a wedding. This is your general reading. It's not a specific love reading, uh, but that's what's coming through just as a first. So that that is very specific because I see like arches like that, like several, like we're going down this aisle and there's like several arches on top of it. Uh, so maybe that's just for a couple of people. And I don't know, it's a very specific message. So, so uh, you know, if it resonates with you, run with it. If it doesn't, just completely leave it and just know that this, the rest of the reading will be something completely different. Um, but I, th I feel like there's been people wondering whether the weather, whether the weather is going to sort of hold up or not. And because it looks cloudy and what's coming through here, it's, it's going, you're going to be fine. Like it, it might just be, so if you're having a wedding outside, uh, it's like, oh, is it going to really, is it going to be destroyed? Should we move it in? I, 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 I feel like it's a bit tough to sit here and promise you something, but this is what I see. Um, is that, okay, it looks a bit cloudy. Is the rain going to come in? Probably not. It's clearing up. 
is clearing up so it's like have have the wedding outside like begin there with the beautiful arches and everything and then it's like move the party inside and i think that's what that was the idea all along but maybe you've been thinking about like oh is this gonna hold up is the weather really gonna hold up and it looks like it's just gonna shine through like it's just gonna the sun is just gonna burst through even though it might still a bit be a bit cl like cloudy in the sky you're, it's like you're going to be fine. <laughs> that's a very specific message. So I hope that's helpful to somebody. Um, it sort of is very, can we, it is very love, love inspired. Um, and sometimes that comes through anyway, even though I specifically ask for like, a, I mean, it's general, so anything and everything can come up. And the most significant thing that wants to come up is sort of a partnering or a coming together with somebody. So, uh, which, um, It's like you're getting glimpses of little, like of a couple of different things, which is like we have a little smorgasbord here and at the at one end, this is going on. And if you sort of were to pair that up with that thing that is on, on the completely other side of that end, uh, it wouldn't taste all that good, but it's still so freaking yummy that we have all of it on the table. Um, and so it's, it's like I'm, I'm having a bit of a smorgasbord going on here where it feels like something really hasn't anything to do with something else so it's like this is for 10 people this is for 20 people this is for 100 people this is for um you know so take whatever resonates and really leave the rest because if you know for a fact you're not going to get married that's that message isn't for you there's something about a, a window of opportunity and i i am all for saying there's never a missed opportunity. There's just never such a thing as a missed opportunity. Could it be a missed opportunity in the sense that, um, like if we were to, comp to compare it with a physical incident uh, or situation that somebody said they were gonna come to, to your town today, if, were you up for it? Could you like come and grab a coffee? And they're leaving tonight. So you would, you would consider that to be a missed opportunity if you couldn't make it that day. But the thing, if we're looking at it from a bigger perspective, excuse me, uh, if you look at it from a bigger perspective, it's like there's never a missed opportunity in the sense that you can see another friend and another friend and another friend tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow again. Like the universe will organize it so that you can see just friends for eternity to have coffee with. So it's not like a missed opportunity like that. Um, so having that said, there's a window of opportunity right now. If I feel like and it's the clouds that are re representing it again, like the clouds are like we're having some sort of wedding. Interesting. They don't. Oh, it's too. Yeah, maybe you do see them. It's like arches in the sky for the wedding thing. Uh, and then here is like, okay, is it going to be sunny? Is it going to be blah, 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 and all of that. <clears throat> and then there's something with the clouds here. Like we have a window of opportunity. There's an opening happening right now. And it's like those clouds coming in from, from the left and coming in from the right. And maybe that's vice versa if you, when you watch this because it, it's being mirrored. Um, if you try to figure out what this says, it says uh, within the next few months, I'm not drawn to talk about that, so I don't think that's um, a, a, applicable, applicable, however you say it. Um, so there's uh, something about the clouds are coming together, like you, you know how it, like when you're out and you can, maybe you're laying on the beach or you're sitting outside and you're watching the clouds and you sort of see how they move. And all of a sudden, like that gap was closed and, and you know, how they move around, it's that feeling it fairly quickly, not like like that, hurry, 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 but there's a window of opportunity that is soon closing and you know what it is. 
So if you want a part of it this time around, if you want to meet that friend for a coffee this afternoon, that friend is not going to be back for a while. Can you see another friend tomorrow? Heck yes. Is it a missed opportunity? No. They come back around? Absolutely. But, uh, but for this time around, just so you don't walk away feeling um, that you were never in the right place at the right time, because you are always. If you start to say that to yourself, I'm always at the right time, at the right place. It's so, it's so amazing. You're always at the right place at the right time. Um, this is, though, something that spirit wants to give you, that there's, there's a, the clouds are closing in and you know what it's about. So if you want to grab that opportunity that is happening like around now. Um, oh, thank you. Um, do it now. That very incident with that particular situation or, or if it's a particular person that you, were, that you were hoping to run into is not going to come back around un until within the next few months. So if you want to grab that opportunity, do that now. So that's one thing. That's still the smorgasbord where it feels like there's more to be. Uh, and then there's yet another little mini, a little mini story within the larger story that somebody is really reaching for a higher you would consider to be a higher goal maybe it's not a higher goal for somebody else or maybe it's this it's a it's a utopia for somebody else like that's just that's just too big you're just almost too silly to to be to be going for that type of dream or, or to have that wanting to go after that you're almost a bit crazy slash stupid um you're not, you're not anywhere near an Aquarius. It's typical Aquarius energy to sort of, to sort of go it. I was going to, I wasn't going to say go it alone, but for some reason that wants to come out that this is something that you, you want to, to go alone. You want to go it alone. Um, but it's, it's the Aquarius energy is all about blazing the trail, like be the first one to walk where nobody else has ever walked before. And, so there's going to be a lot of firsts for you. And so therefore, there's going to be a lot of people saying, um, <laughs> I can't help but think, because I got a comment about the hat the other day that they were really happy with me. It's like I could do no wrong until I had the N New York Yanker Yankers. Yeah, that says uh, so much about what how much I support anything and nothing around sports. <laughs> the New York Yankers. Oh, it's so funny. Oh my God. Um, yeah, it was pink, so I liked it, so I bought it. That's the only reason. And there's, it could be a lot of, it could be a mystical sign for all I care. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> sorry. New York Yankers. Where was I? Can I have it back, please? Right. So, blazing a trail. There's going to be a lot of people sort of having an opinion about what you're doing because that's always what's going to happen. If there's a first about anything, if there's a first about somebody stepping stepping out of the comfort zone, stepping out of the line, not being mainstream, thinking what you're thinking, you're always going to have that. So, that's just natural. Maybe not natural, but normal at least. There's going to be some sort of bump in the road. Because I feel like it's smooth waters. It's like, okay, we have the golden stairs. It's like freaking large golden stairs leading up to that palace. I'm, I'm getting like a mosque vibe. A bit of Greece. I also get a bit of like Dubai. Du like Dubai. Um, and it's like it's smooth waters. So we have the golden stairs that completely leads you up to this palace, to this grand goal or grand result that you're looking for. Um, there's going to be a little bump in the road. For sure, there's going to be a bump in the road. So what? If you know clearly that, that the palace that you're searching for or seeking for is there, it, it really is there. So the message is just just keep... Walking, I was going to say, I think about Dory, 
uh, in in Finding Nemo, I think it starts there where, where Dory just says, uh, just keep swimming, just keep walking or swimming or fly. Um, and you will get there, Aquarius, you, for sure you will get there. And there's another little love story coming in because I feel like this is a reunion between two people that have not seen each other for a while. And if this is a, this is yet another little mini, mini part of the Smorgas board, like where this reaching the end goal, uh, getting married, um, uh, what else do we have? Uh, I can't even remember now. These little mini stories, I feel like they're not... So maybe for some person, you, you're going to sort of almost faint when the reading is over because it's like it ticks the boxes of everything that you're going through right now. But for your, for the rest of you, I think it's just the mini, the mini things going on. They're sort of not related to one another. Uh, so for some of you guys, there's a reunion happening um, between two people that have not seen each other for for quite the while it feels like and that quite quite the while could even be not in this lifetime because it feels like this is such a profound uh it could be that you ha have lived so many lifetimes together before and you just keep coming together and coming together you just keep wanting to come to earth and co-create and have a blast literally together um so there's like a beautiful homecoming but maybe with a person you actually haven't met in this lifetime yet but if you haven't there's a longing you will feel the longing for this person and there is a reunion like you are you are coming back together with this person if there's a separation this is guidance for to say they're coming back it was worth the wait. They're coming back. It's like somebody needed to go away and do a little work, little work on themselves, little get a little understanding, maybe a bit more, um, get a bit more awakened, get get a bit, bit more evolved, because what was what was happening in the past sort of wasn't working. And then it says ask for help from others, and I get. I am not I am not drawn to those words, but I guess we could incorporate it and just say Aquar Aquarius. I don't know if you're going to ask for help from others in this lifetime because you're the Aquarius energy, but it's nice to get some help, Aquarius. There's there's this beautiful um rainbow energy around you guys it's it's really such a divine relationship it's absolutely gorgeous and there's something about um those dried i've eternaller i think they're called eternaller in swedish and i i'm not 100 percent sure even even in the swedish term but Etanaler is like dried, doesn't necessarily just have to be roses. It can be sort of any type of flower that you, that are fresh and you're cutting it. It's like fresh fr flowers that you cut at the bottom and you hang them upside down. Like in this, you're hanging them upside down to dry as is. And in Swedish, that's called etanaler. I don't know what that's called in English. And there's something about then as they have dried, taking those and sort of spread them out it's almost like that little like having a little thread of rose pe pebbles pebbles rose petals petals <laughs> it's i get that it's with the t so maybe that's with the t petals is that pebble i know what pebbles are pebbles are the little stones um petal rose petals okay uh <laughs> excuse me it's sometimes hard to get the word, words right um or that somebody has or it's like a flower arrangement thing happening for somebody they this doesn't look so beautiful it's like they just put it in the pile there but i what i see then is like somebody has really done something beautiful for you or you have created this little 
flower arrangement for somebody else. Very, very particular messages. Very interesting. What else can we give for Aquarius? Don't stop. Don't stop. It's so interesting. I've been listening to that song quite a bit. Don't Stop Believing by... I'm not going to think of the group now. It's an oldie. It's, an, it's a classic. <sighs> no, it's not going to come to me. Because I already blocked it out. Don't stop. Um, okay, they want to have... Okay, so they want to have me go back to this. So this is very significant for somebody. And somebody really needs to hear that this person is coming in. This person that you're waiting for, and I, 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 it is a general reading. It's not supposed to be love. So if you're here to not hear about love, I do apologize. Uh, but for somebody, there's, there's, they really are significant, um, and and it's like such. You're so waiting for them. So it's like this comes out first to to just really show you that it is happening. But then we get this. It's like it's more focused on the fact that you're alone. Uh, we have the same rainbow, I get the archy feeling here again, so maybe there is sort of a connection somewhere, somehow. Um, this... Yeah, excuse me. Uh, what I'm getting here around this is that, you, yeah, you're not going to see that. It's... On top of this, so it's so I, I it's so interesting because it seems this week that maybe because I've had the same underlying theme, not just getting a general message, but having the theme of setting the intention of of um, what can we give you for this awakening path? Like what are Aquarius doing on this awakening path right now? What is the most inspirational message that messes? <laughs> That you can get in Sainis. Um <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so therefore, it feels like every... It's almost like every sign has led into the next sign to just continue the story. This is the first time where it's a little split up, a little... And maybe it's split up to me. And maybe you're sitting there going, no, 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 no. It's not split up. It's like it makes perfect sense. Everything is for me, you know? Um... But it feels like it's a bit more like chopped up in this reading than just a full long story. Um, but anyhow, there is, seems to be a full long story f from even from the start, from, from Aries up until this point. There's just a continuation of a story. So if you want, I know that's loads of time and loads of information. And I know that some people already you're already doing it, that you're listening through every single message that I'm posting because you feel the resonance with me and not so much with the, with the actual sign. And so there is a message for you in, in every sign. And I agree with that. Um, but, but it is a lot of information. I, I get that. And there is a lot of... <laughs> uh, but you can also say that there's a lot of... There's just a well of information if you want to. There's something to this that you're... The star family, it came out so strongly. It has come out strongly for Scorpio and has come out strongly for uh, Capricorn and probably anywhere in between. Um, but significantly for Capricorn and the council, the high council. And you won't see that, but there's like a little, again, a little arch. There's something about this arch that keeps wanting to come out. They're a little light family, light star, star constellation, being in tune with your, with your star family. If you're sort of feeling like you're drawn back there, like starting to think about or starting to get messages around like Ceres or the, the Pleiades or um, um, for me, it's very much the Orion constellation, uh, stuff like that, things like that. Um, you might have a significant person sort of um what do you say you're you're 
we're, we're all coming from the same place. We're all coming from the zero point. But it's like we're in these undergroups. It's like you're coming from the same star family. So this person that is coming in, it's like you're here, you're like looking for them. You're tooting your horn. You're, you're giving them a call in your unique frequency, in your unique vibration. And you really want them to come in. It's like you're waiting for them and you've been waiting for them for a while. And it's clear, do not stop, do not give up on that because they are coming. They so are coming in. I just want a tiny bit of clarification around this and then we're going to go into the silent part. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, so there is a tiny bit of job to do on your part, Aquarius. You just, um, these cards that fell out, it's just, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So we have the heart chakra going on here. You're expanding your heart right now. You're focusing on your heart and you're feeling it in your heart. It's like your heart is opening up again. Your heart remembers how it, how it really feels to love. So maybe there's a bit more self-love going on. Maybe there's a bit more... Uh, feeling the love for everything, starting to get emotional about sort of what you would consider to be silly things and stuff like that, because your heart chakra is opening up. Um, and it, it feels like you need to hang around here for a tiny bit more to just expand that heart energy center a bit more and, and elevate your vibration a tiny bit to be a match to this. You're not, you're not too far behind. You're, you're really not. It's like here we're single and a minute later we're, we're with the person. Okay, but there's a n n tiny bit of work that needs to be like hang around in your heart energy center a bit more. Become a bit more aware. We have the awareness card here, which I absolutely adore. Uh, it's focused in. Could you tell? <laughs> Could you tell that they want us to look at the shoulder or where do we want to look? Um, it's, it's completely focused in on your crown chakra. And it's number one, so it speaks about brand new beginnings for you and how you're now finding out who you are. You're, you're understanding more and more your true potential. And it's sort of asking you to, to have that remembrance. Um, maybe not just awakened heart, but have that remembrance of your star family or your star constellation. This is your crown chakra being on fire, like really tuning in. And I love that we have an infinity sign there, endless possibilities. And how we have a blank page on the other side that is sort of ready for you to fill in the blank with the rest. So it's like hanging around, making conscious, more of a conscious connection in with the higher realms. Hang around more in your heart center. That will lead to the actual, because here's the number eight again. And this possibilities. Number eight is all about manifestation, making this happen. We have the power and the strength in the number eight. Uh, it is the inf <clears throat> excuse me. It is the infinity sign, which speaks about the the never endedness of you guys, like the never endedness of this relationship. How it just can never end, even though you sort of take on different lifetimes or you come back to see each other in in different. Um, constellations maybe not just romantic partners but it could be could be so many different things that you come back as but for this time around i feel like it's a ro your romantic counterpart um when you hang around in your heart center when you connect in more with your higher self with your star family it's it, on the bottom here it says accelerate emotion it is going to pick up speed for you to start to meet this person and now i'm getting like um i'm also getting if it's not a romantic, it is a romantic encount encounter. It is a romantic counterpart for some of you guys. But this is also calling in your soul tribe. This is like finding home, coming home with your star family. And making that connection is going to speed things up. We, here we have you, basically, because it's a star. It's a star uh, that you can wish upon. So the star card here is all about the Aquarius energy. So you're going to speed things up by connect, connecting in a bit more with your heart and hang around in your crown energy center and connecting with more with your star family. Okay, guys, really beautiful. I'm going to go into the silent part, have three cards come out for you to sit and just watch in silence. 
and release whatever wants to be released and receive whatever wants to be received. And not try to look so much about what's going on, but rather feel what's going on. So on purpose, I'm not showing the words because the words will throw you off and decide what you're seeing. And I want you to feel what you're seeing. Um, and if you feel like it, if you feel like you resonate with that, uh, I'm going to then move into to the extended and see what we can find on the other side of that. So you might want to fast forward because sometimes it takes a bit of time for this. Is that it? Okay. For these three cards to come out. And what? You only get two. <laughs> I don't know why. You only get two for some reason. I'm not arguing with it. I'm just trusting the message. So thank you so much for watching and happy watching in the silence. And maybe I see you in the extended, maybe not.